west on Arthur Street, then turn left onto Big Beaver Boulevard. Big Beaver Boulevard. <laughs> uh, there's surgery for that. You can get down there, Fiona. Big brown beaver. It is three o'clock in the morning, and we are about to get on the road to go get the newest project. This is a terrible idea. It's way too early. I don't know why you even volunteered for this, but I appreciate it. So we're going to uh, <laughs> we're gonna get going. So sunny. It's it's <laughs> it's cold. Winter's here. We're not happy about it, uh, but we'll check in along the way. So 
is way, way rougher than we thought. They did a great job of taking photos here at Copart, as they normally do. But still, for what we bought it for, it's not terrible. As long as it starts up and runs, which I would have started it if it had not been so rough. I don't want to make something worse, so we're gonna get on the road. I'm gonna call Granberry and be like, "WTF? You said it was great, bud." Peace. <laughs> job of taking pictures uh, no it just looked great in the picture so they put all the parts on the bike and zip tied everything to good look like it was together and then when we got there it was all laying in pieces yeah um, so the intake that goes through the frame is held together with metal strips and uh, sheet metal screws the, the radiator in the front, is that supposed to be curved? Yeah, that's supposed to be curved. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that. The rear tire is completely bald and flat. That's fine. Yeah, okay. It's going to need controls because they've been laid down. That's fine. Like all the way around. Controls. Yeah, so we'll see. See, that's rough, but as you heard, Granberry says it's okay, which I think will be okay. But it, it's rough. I mean, I knew it was rough in the pictures. I just didn't know it was well, that they, rough. They can see it. Oh uh, yeah. Well, you can't get it. You don't get a, a good uh, representation. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I can take a snuff film with it and show you exactly how bad it is. Or I'll do the puff piece like they did at Copart. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know they do that shit because I mean, who wants to buy? They gotta make it look as nice as they can so people actually buy it. Alright, so we made it home. 12 hours after we left, we are back. So, like I said, it's rough, but we're gonna air up the back tire and get her down. Let's check the oil, see if we can get any uh, starty start on here. But, needs a new tire at least. We knew the plastics were jacked. We knew a bunch of this was jacked. New coat of tile on. Uh, we're gonna put new plastics on it. New hardware kit. Fix some bracketry. And whatnot. But right, so we got it down. It looks all right. Granberry took it for a ride right here. Show, show them the business, Granberry. It looks like shit. No, but uh, <laughs> sh sh they don't know. They don't know. It looks like that it shit. starts. Oh yeah, it runs. Fire it up for him. <laughs> oh, they deactivated the clutch switch too. shit on this thing. Alright. Alright. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> that is so stupid loud. Did you break it? Oh, 
<laughs> and that's even bigger. <laughs> that's the donut on the on the, on the Nissan. The little red one. All right. Uh, where do we, we need to put this somewhere? Yeah, sure. You're blowing smoke. Oh, hey, that thing looks sticky now. Oh, it is sticky now. So, bike works. Does burnouts. We go stash it in the barn. Hopefully, we can uh, get it in there somewhere safe. And that'll be a project for another day. You guys haven't seen the barn yet. It's a shit show. Wilson was going to fix it a long time ago, but he never did. I was telling him how you were going to fix the barn a long time ago, but you never did. Yeah, kind of never got horses. Yeah, but I wasn't going to get horses. You know, that thing got super sticky. Yeah, it's yeah. I know. Can you get in through just the bottom door? Probably not. Because I thought it'd be funny to watch you try to ride it in through just the bottom door. Why would you roll it when you can ride it? I've never opened these doors and or been in here before. That's about as far as I really like to walk in here. Yeah. Because things and stuff. I know. We need to rebuild this one of these days. Uh, see how the post is completely rotted out and hanging? Yeah. Only the center posts are the ones that are still holding it up. Hey, what's your uh, plan for making that not fall over? No. So their exact words were, uh, that kickstand sucks and it's falling over. <laughs> you want a board? So I don't know if you want to like lean it up against the wood or something or or put a wood, piece of wood on it. I don't know. Although the only side that looks like it's fallen over is over here. So they did have a piece of wood on this side of it. Why? I have no idea. Sure. You, you're the bike guy. You want? And if it does? Oh, so there's one other thing. Sorry. Open the gas tank for me. I tried and I got scared and I stopped. <laughs> it might be stolen. No, it just, it it seemed hard like I was going to break it. Yeah. And it's the only key. Yeah. So I definitely didn't want to break it. All right, so what do you do with a keyless gasket? It'll be uh, just a quick type. You don't need a key for it. It's cheap. Oh, okay, whatever, we're saying. Because it definitely turns it. Yeah, but it's locked in there. Yeah, but something's going on in there. We're going to have to send it out to get um, matched. What do you mean? Paint matched. What do you mean paint matched? Because this is, this is the paint. This is the tank. The tank's going to have to be repainted. All right, that's what I'm saying. Paint matched to the new plastic. Oh. Same color. Yeah, sure. Or we're fine with tank. <laughs> well, what color are you going with the... Uh... It's probably going to have to be the black because of the red wheels. They came with um, silver, it was silver and blackish that so had the red wheels on it, or the all black one like uh, Dre Walker had, had two on that. It's the same, but yeah, it'll, be, it'll clean up nice, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, realistically, we strip this thing down and go through it all, Just clean, it. clean it all, put it back together. All right, so this is our first experience with Copart. Um, so far, I mean, realistically, I'm not that surprised. I know it seemed like in the video, maybe I was at one point, but thinking back on it, it's realist. They're not going to get you to buy things that look terrible. So they're going to make them look as best as possible. And realistically, we got in on that bike for a pretty decent price. So we'll see how good of a deal it was in the end. We got a lot of work to do. We got to throw some parts at it and we'll see how much money we make. If it makes some money, we'll probably do roll that money into new stuff from Copart. But time will tell.